Welcome to another episode of Bargain Bin Saturdays. In the second part of today's double feature, we're going to be taking a look at an old western shot back in 1976 that tends to go under the title of God's Gun. It's a spaghetti western that stars former child actor Leif Garriott, and it's a decent film, all things considered. The wise movie follows the actions of Johnny, played by Leif Garrett, and the Clayton gang as they take over the small town of Juno after one of their members is arrested by the unarmed Father John who runs the local church. Of course, the gang members easily busted out of jail and Father John is murdered just outside of his church where the Clayton gang shows their newfound dominance of the town. Shortly after a takeover, though, Johnny takes off from Mexico to find Father John's brother as an old gunslinger. Of course, to add some questionable plot threads, it is revealed that Johnny's father is potentially the leader of the Clayton gang, and it was conceived while his mother was raped during the Civil War. I guess it adds a strange plot to us, but it seems completely unnecessary in a story centered around revenge. On the graphical side of things, the movie is alright. The locations at least feel real, and the towns do have that old western feel that you get from a lot of these movies. On the downside, the way some of the people act when they are shot is sort of over the top. I especially love when one of the deputies is shot and then tightens his whole body while for turning around falling down. On the sound side, I think this movie has rather standard to come to give you that old western feel, but some of the bullet sound effects are almost cartoonish in their nature, and the acting itself is alright for the most part. The scene where Father John dies and Johnny is crying over it might be a few levels over the top, but it can be overlooked rather easily. About the only real downside to the background music is the rather limited number of tracks. In fact, this movie feels like it only has one song that plays frequently throughout, and while it isn't a bad song per se, it does start to feel a little overused by the end. Overall, the movie's a lot better than you expect for a title that I got for under 30 cents. About the only real blight to this movie is that it sets up a lot of foreshadowing for a scene only to throw us a curveball that makes the Avenger look like he is in the wrong. It's a twist that I could appreciate more if it was done in a different setting, but the ending is what it is in this movie.